Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Before we start, we'd like to thank you all for the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that. So thanks again. Now, back to the video. Do you feel tired? <sighs> all the time. Are you exhausted every single day? People tend to focus on their physical well-being much more than their emotional well-being. After all, it's much easier to focus on something you can see rather than something you can't, such as emotions and feelings. As a result, you may have a tendency to neglect your mental and emotional health. One of the most common consequences of this is experiencing emotional exhaustion, which is defined as a state of feeling emotionally drained and worn out as a result of accumulated stress. So, to make sure you know what to watch out for, here are six surprising things that can emotionally drain you. Number one, rumination. Do you spend a lot of your time dwelling in the past? When you spend most of your time ruminating, you may end up falling into an unhealthy habit of constantly overthinking things you have no control of. Perhaps you've regretted doing something in the past or feel guilty for a missed opportunity. Whatever it is, rumination can leave you emotionally drained because you keep revisiting bad memories and feelings that increase your stress levels. Research has even shown that rumination can be associated with anxiety, depression, PTSD, and more. Number two, repressing your emotions. Do you tend to ignore your feelings until they disappear? There have been many studies showing that repressing your emotions can actually be damaging for your physical and mental well-being. A study conducted by the Harvard School of Public Health and the University of Rochester in 2013 showed that people who repress emotions have a 30% increase in the chance of premature death from all causes. While ignoring your emotions can seem like a good answer to avoid feeling sad or angry, the actual effect it will have is the opposite, since repressing emotions can make them stronger, as found in a study conducted by the University of Texas. Number three, having a victim mentality. Are you someone who believes that nothing is going to change no matter how hard you try? Do you have a habit of blaming other people or circumstances for how things are going for you? If you believe in these first two ideas and that bad things will happen and keep happening to you regardless of what you do, then you may suffer from having a victim mentality. These beliefs often result in developing a habit of avoiding responsibilities, refusing to look for solutions, and having a general sense of powerlessness which contributes to emotional exhaustion. Number four, focusing on things out of your control. Do you spend a lot of your time and energy trying to control the things around you? While being in control of everything may give you a feeling that you're able to prevent it from happening, the only thing it may actually accomplish is to place additional pressure and stress on your emotional and physical well-being. Apart from that, you may also end up wasting the time and effort you have to spend on things you actually have control over. Number five, toxic positivity. Are you someone who forces yourself to be happy, even though you're clearly feeling the opposite? If you do this all the time, no matter the situation, then you're probably experiencing toxic positivity. As someone trying to be in a happy state all the time, you may have a tendency to deny, minimize, or invalidate your true emotions whenever they're not in line with happiness. The results are similar to that of suppressing your emotions, since the excessive amount of positivity is used to hide or repress emotions such as jealousy, sadness, anger, and others. The increased stress that comes along with it may ultimately lead to emotional and physical exhaustion. Number six saying yes to people too frequently. Are you someone who accepts extra work shifts even though you're already working overtime or volunteers to help someone with their homework even though you're busy enough with your own? While saying yes to people and helping them is great, too much of anything can become unhealthy. Saying yes too frequently will inherently put additional stress on your emotional and physical well-being and lead to exhaustion or burnout. It's why it's important to remember to prioritize your health and to take care of yourself first before focusing on other people. So do any of these points sound familiar to you? If so, what strategies would you use to restore your emotional well-being? If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share it with those who might benefit from it as well. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below.
Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.